everyone and welcome to today's edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Andy Welkley and we're going to continue our conversation about data. I think the real estate industry is a very unique way to look at data and we've talked about that in other whiteboards but today I want to talk about really how data gets created from the beginning. Now, in any leasing situation, we have a whole bunch of stakeholders here who have different priorities and different needs that need to get rolled into the lease. We've got a tenant who may be looking at a specific suite. We've got a property manager who's looking at that occupancy date for when that tenant's gonna come in. A financial analyst is looking at the percentages around that business and are we gonna make money? And finally, the accountants are looking at the money and how it's coming in and when it's coming in. A whole host of different priorities and needs that all end up in the lease. Now, interestingly enough, they're not the people creating the terms that relate to each of their priorities. Those are created by attorneys or maybe it's your boilerplate copy that you put into the lease. That is a far cry from the original source of that information. So ironically, once we get that information into the lease, we need to extract it back out so that it's usable by each of these people. We need to be able to manage the business and understand how those terms and conditions drive our business and our profitability forward. We need to be able to plan over a longer term and take this information and take the data it creates and be able to understand where that takes us out over time. And if we're able to do that, we can also generate action items and decision-making processes to drive our business forward with specific tasks. So again, all this information comes in to a relatively unstructured document. We need to extract that information out so it's usable and operate our business from that perspective. Using tools like artificial intelligence can really make that process more efficient and not only give us those data points, but link us back to the source document of the lease. Once this all happens, we need to make sure each of these stakeholders understands how they're performing against their metrics and communicate that data back out. So there's a whole host of activities that goes into returning the data into the form that it can be used to drive the business forward. So we've got a webinar coming up where we're going to dive into this and really the context around data. So check this link below and join us on that longer session. Thanks very much. Have a great day.